How do we get a natural makeup look in under 10 minutes? Three simple steps. Tone, texture, and technique. And in this video, I'll be showing you what I mean. The first step to flawless natural makeup is you have to know your skin tone. And you can do that by matching your skin tone. This is a neat little tool that I used to have when I worked for Beauty Control, but you can go to any cosmetics counter and they have free foundation matching. Some of them use tools where they scan your skin. Some of them, you know, patch test you to learn your skin tone to match you with the right foundation. And also there's some online tools that use um, science and computer generated to be able to tell your skin tone. We've got one here, this is for Lancome, but I'm going to show you some other few here and I will link um, the websites in the description so you guys can go do that and find your skin tone. Now, when you learn your skin tone, it's going, you're either going to be cool, neutral, or warm. And like these are the palettes that like on this little thing, there is cool, here is neutral, and the third one is warm. So the cool undertones mean you have pink undertones in your skin that usually when your skin shows if it's olive or blue, it's going to be cool undertones. Now, when you are warm undertones, you are sort of a yellow undertone or orangey. So it's going to look, you know, on your skin instead of seeing olive or blue, you are going to see orange warmer shade undertones to your skin. Every foundation, when you go to the cosmetics counter, whether it's Lancome or any foundation, they're gonna be in warm, neutral, or cool, and your shades will tell you. But when you look for a foundation, you are going to determine what your skin tone is and whether you are cool, neutral, or warm. And when we're talking about texture, the need to have a flawless, texture to our skin for any makeup look, not just natural makeup. For any makeup look, you have got to be able to, in my opinion, you've got to microdermabrasion your skin at least once a week. You have got to use the right makeup primer when you're applying any makeup technique, and you need to dermaplane your skin once a week. And I'm going to explain each one of those things to you now. Now, when we talk about microdermabrasion, you guys probably have seen these. They're a rotating scrub brush, and it's just for microderm abrasion. Now, when you use this, you have got to um, have wet skin or be able to um, apply the product that's going to help you, whether it be a cleanser or some kind of exfoliant with a scrub texture works in combination with the microderm abrasion tool and this one is my handy dandy beauty control tool and it's still kicking after all these years but i use it in the shower and that's where i do my cleansing and my exfoliating most of the time why microderm abrasion you ask because our skin has three layers right here you see a graphic we use for beauty control years ago talking about cornflakes raisins, and grapes, and those represent the three layers of skin, our dermis, the epidermis, and the subcutaneous tissue. If the outer layer of skin is cornflakes, that's the dry, brittle, um, causes wrinkles, it's like your makeup sits in all the creases and fine lines, no matter what skincare products you use or makeup application you use, if you're not getting rid of that outer layer, outer layer of dead cornflakes, the dead skin cells, nothing else will matter. You can use the best makeup in the world, the most expensive skincare in the world, but no application, no skincare products can readily absorb until we exfoliate that outer layer of skin. And the second thing that we're talking about in the texture element is primer. You have got to use the correct face primer that's going to fill in all those fine lines cover up the large pores, and help with the makeup application to go on smoothly and correctly. This is a Lancome primer. You guys, e.l.f. Putty Primer is also a very good one, as you see. I've used both of these very heavily. And also, Lancome makes um, a La Base, La Base um, primer that is silicone-based that can go under makeup for a flawless makeup application and natural finish. 
the third element to the texture component of having the flawless natural makeup look is dermaplaning. And you guys have probably seen these tools before, but they do recommend to sanitize before every use to use it just once a week. And you will hold it at a 45 degree angle, working your way down in light feathery strokes all the way down your face. Avoid the eyes, um, nose, and mouth area. And you've got to hold your skin taut and as you're working your way down, you can see the dead skin cells and the peach fuzz disappear. And this will help with your natural makeup look. The third element to having a natural makeup look is technique. Remember, we went over tone, texture, and now we're on technique. And this is all the way you apply your makeup, the specific techniques that you use, or the, really more importantly, those that you do not use to do your makeup in under 10 minutes. Now, the 10 minute part is just doing the makeup techniques. Of course, it's gonna take longer than 10 minutes to figure out your skin tone and to do the prep um, procedures that we talked about in the texture component of this video. But yes, you can actually do a natural makeup finish in under five minutes with these recommended techniques that I'm gonna show you now. What foundation means, for our flawless natural makeup, you have to go light-handed. This is not a heavy-handed process. We're not caking up the makeup. We are just putting it on with a very light, and instead of using, if you didn't, don't wanna use a foundation, if you wanted even a lighter coverage, you can go with a CC or BB cream or a tinted moisturizer. That will give you the lightest coverage possible for your skin. And as far as the makeup application, using a neutral color palette is a must. And by neutral, I mean browns, light colors, neutrals that can match anything, but they complement your skin tone and they don't overwhelm your skin tone. So this is my blush palette. It's um, MAC Warm Aura. And what I do is I just apply that very light-handed. We're not going to heavy hand this. Just put it in the hollow of your cheekbone. It's going to go right from the corner of our mouth, you know, the whole fish face thing. And you can also use the MAC palette for any contouring. Anything can be done with just this palette. It's not hard, it's not heavy, and that's how we do this in 10 minutes. And another tip that I use is to take my blush or bronzing palette and just do the contour of the eye just to give it a slight definition and that keeps the all natural makeup look. Now with our eyeshadow, we are going to use a neutral palette. And what that means is they're all neutral shades. Anything from your contour, highlight, um, base shade, it's all gonna be in the neutral palette. And that's the number one thing that I can't stress enough about having a natural makeup finish. The goal is to look like we have little or no makeup on at all. So what I do, I'm not really an eyeshadow girl and I've already put the blush in my crease, but I don't use eyeliner. That's another tip. No harsh black eyeliner. You can use brown if you wish because it's neutral, but we're not gonna waterline, we're not gonna do any of the inside rimming or any of that for a natural makeup finish. But what I do is I take the contour shade and I apply it underneath just in the outer corner of my eye just to give some slight definition and also I'm going to take it above but not carry it all the way in. You can notice how it gives just the right amount of definition and from afar it looks like I really don't have a lot of makeup on and that is the key. With the mascara, it's just the same kind of process. We can use a brown or a neutral color of mascara, but if we want to do the black, and I would recommend for a natural makeup, something like Definis Seals if you're using Lancome, but none of these pro extensive lash mascaras. We're just going to do the basic mascara, working from the root to the tip. We wiggle 
And don't forget your little cat eyelashes on the outside. Gives a little sexy twist to it. So you are going to see, this is not a heavy mascara look, a little bit more definition to our eyes, but it's not loud, bold mascara. Now for our lip color. Again, in our neutral tones, Revlon Color Stay. It is a lip stain and it does tend to dry out, but yes, for a lip, we have a neutral lip color, always for natural makeup. And all the products and techniques and websites that I mentioned in this video are always in the description below, so be sure to check that out. And there you have it. A flawless, natural makeup look. And under five or ten minutes, you guys, it has been a joy. I love you. Till next time, remember, videos come out every Tuesday. And check out the website at kimsbeautybits.com for all my awesome resources and freebies. Till next time. Much love.